Hey everybody, now you can showcase your geek chic style with Level Up, a monthly mystery apparel subscription from Loot Crate. You can get two different pairs of high quality socks, one to two fashionable accessories, or a wearable item like a long sleeve shirt or lounge pants. Same themes as Loot Crate every month and it serves as a great companion to your loot because there are no repeats. Each month's theme is inspired by all your favorite pop culture brands like Star Wars, Doctor Who, and Fallout 4 and often contains high quality exclusives. Go to lootcrate.com slash Doug High to learn more and use the code Doug High to save 10%. So we didn't even hear the opening theme in the room tonight. That was the plan? Technical problems. Technical problems, all right. Uh, well, of course we have technical problems because uh, it's a very exciting night. We have two great guests, an old bee and a newbie, as we say. The Are you new calling me old? Newbie, you're the newbie. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're yeah. I'm old. She's Good. the old bee because she's, she's a veteran of the program. She's been on a few times. Uh, Esther Koo and Whitney Cummings are here. And we're going to start smoking in uh, about three minutes. At 20 <laughs> if, minutes after the hour. Start, what if one of us already started smoking today? I think today? two of us have already started smoking today. Let's, let's make I people just... guess which one. Oh, OK. Good game. Guess, everybody. <laughs> 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 We're like starting this off on a good note. Yeah, that is a fun game. Uh, I think people know the answer based on what you so said you and then my reaction to it. I don't remember and what Whitney's I said. Whitney's reaction. She's clearly. Are we starting? It started. Is it's the show happening. happening? It really is okay. a show, if you can believe it. So I was under the impression that we weren't supposed to show up sober and then smoke. See what happens as you get high. I'm a over professional. The Classic of the show. newbie move here. Oh, yeah. 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 I, it's usually not a problem because, I mean, uh, most of my guests understand that I'm not going to wait until showtime to get high. It's, you know, 8.15 Pacific time. No, and I time. made that mistake, too. What? When I did Joey Diaz and you. What'd you do wrong? I, I didn't get high before coming, and oh. I regret it. Really? Yeah. Is life so hard for you? <laughs> <laughs> that you have to smoke weed all the... You're a beautiful yes. Asian girl. You, you won life. No, life is hard for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. Weed helps with my PTSD. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what? You were, were you in you now? Were in a war? Were you that little girl in front of the tank? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you liked it from <laughs> That little girl in front of the tank. Tiananmen Square girl. That's what a sweetie. That's oh, sweetie. All grown up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, so very soon we're going to have to start smoking. So I've loaded all the... Uh, uh, pipes on the table with uh, sativa because people generally prefer that. That's the calming one. The cal or, or not necessarily calming, but just less uh, of a uh, less sleep stimulating, less, less stimulating, less sleep inducing. Yeah, there's lots of. I'll warn you right now for a show where I get people high. There's a lot of noises. Yeah, it's really, your PTSD is it. about to. Yeah, gonna have, she's gonna have some problems. <laughs> But the sativa is called Day Wrecker, so that sounds like a pretty heavy name for a sativa. And then the indica tonight is a kosher kush, which is uh, just in time for the end of Hanukkah. What are the sharpies for? Those are so that we can sign these blue cards that I uh, use during the show. We sign them, and then people send us like five dollars. And we'll... <laughs> is that how you pay and, for and this we production? Mail, <laughs> and we mail it to lots, lots of ways. I'm also... I also do a lot of gigolo work, for, <laughs> so if ladies are interested in getting with me. Uh, but I should say real quick that it's our uh, 100th episode. Wow. wow. Oh, oh, my God. That's amazing. See, that's, we don't normally do that, but that's another thing we probably shouldn't do after getting people high is uh, Pyrotechnics? have a flamethrower mm -hmm. yeah. in. And, Wow, it did, that left an interesting uh, This smell. is also the most flammable room I've ever seen, so please don't do that again. Yeah, don't do it again. That was the last time. <laughs> but let's all uh, let's all smoke something, because it's 20 minutes after the this hour. This looks like Woody Harrelson had a yard sale. <laughs> it's He got rid of a lot of cool Wait, hold stuff. on. What it, wait, I'm, just, I'm grabbing any... Anyone you want. They all Does the it same say something about me? Because you know like how your therapist puts out toys and shit, mm -hmm. and what you pick up says everything about the person? It says how big of big of a cock size you like in your mouth. 
Esther went for I'm the biggest for one this. on the table. <laughs> I'm looking for this. Go for the little tiny kitty cat. That's for holding roaches. Isn't that adorable? That is so sweet. Yeah. Little Garfield guy. Yeah, I'm actually going towards, what does this say about me? Oh, it's, that's it, means you're, it means you're creative because it's white. What? Okay. White that's... is the color of creativity. Okay, oh, okay. KKK. <laughs> okay, KK. <laughs> I'm so glad we found someone who has a worse laugh than me. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Jesus, drug addicts. We'll just hotbox you. I thought we were in okay. Yeah, I... we'll just blow it. Wait, so I touch ears. this on the front. Yeah, yeah, the nose is the uh, color. I've never on seen that, that. On that little. Skull There's no fella. ceremony. You guys are like, you know what? This is actually an intervention. I would like to read some letters for you two. Really? Yeah. We <laughs> do we look like we have problems? We definitely have a problem. How'd you do on Esther Data at midnight uh, today? It'll air later tonight. It was my first time. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. It's a fun show to do. Yeah. I think it's stressful. You do? I love Chris Hardwick. He's like a really good friend. But I think it's like the idea of making comics. Like we became comedians because we weren't good at sports in competition. And then we have to compete with each other. I find that I mean, stressful. but it's like a fake compete. <laughs> yeah, that's I true. I don't have a problem with it. I've right? never, I get, I've I never don't lost. Like the... Is that true? <laughs> yes, you uh... have. I've never come in third place. I come in second a lot. Oh, I didn't. I didn't come in third place. Spoiler alert. That's good. That's yeah. Real good. I just don't like the the button. My never button never hits. It's a misogynist well, button. Right. I know. Right. And yeah, you never only know. Boys know like, how to hit that button. I'm hitting, <laughs> I'm hitting the button, but somebody else is controlling the lights. You know what I mean? So I'm like hitting it. Sure. And that's, the some, light. that's some paranoid shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> am I this funny? I feel like I'm not as funny yeah. as you think I am. <laughs> yes, I would, you people are say to funny. me, when people I say to me, about. how do you, how do you, you know, uh, that laugh is so strong. Is maybe a word Hers? for it? I see. I have people say that about me. Well, next but, to you, but I'm in looking... either case, I, I, I don't complain because if I say something and you laugh like that, that makes me feel good. You know, that they, right, comedians that never complain hilarious. about my laugh. They Here's never the do, audience especially members guy do. ones. When don't. people laugh at me, I lose respect for them. <laughs> it's a very self-hating. Why? Do you get it? Oh, Why? It took you a second <laughs> <laughs> to process that. Yeah. Wait, I have so many questions for you. What? So We're supposed to ask you questions. Do you know that she lives in Miami? Uh-huh. Does no one else think that's weird? <laughs> I think, I, I, hats off to her, I say, if I ever wore one, because <laughs> I um, would love to live in a city that's not Los Angeles. And Me too. But still, Me too. But still be in the there? game. But Miami, like. I'm growing mango trees. Yeah, so that's a definitely a reason we should go there. It's to cop well, come some during, of your mangoes. Come during mango season, like May. When's mango season? May, June. <laughs> April, May, June. Miami is I just always like... come during mango season. <laughs> mango season is a sexy time of year. Look at this today. A pipe company made this uh, chameleon glass, came through oh. again, a getting dug with hot oh, mugs, beautiful. similar to our mugs on the show that are just mugs. But this is also a uh, pipe. It's a pipe com mug combo. Can you combo. smoke it? Yeah, you would just watch me. Wow. Is that like <laughs> if you're too busy to drink out of a cup and smoke weed at the same time? Yeah. Is that like the people that eat the peanut butter and jelly in the same jar? It's like every time you see an invention in a movie that some wacky inventor made that's supposed to make life easier, yeah. it's always complicated, makes everything take forever. It's similar in like boutique hotels. Don't you hate it when you're <laughs> staying somewhere and they can't just have a simple on off switch? Oh yeah. It's, it's gotta be like rigmarole. a puzzle. Yeah. This, so, is, this is yeah. like a very Sky Mall purchase <laughs> right here. Oh, cool. I love it. I really want to throw my panties down. <laughs> this is really turning me on, Doug. Wow, <laughs> what a exciting. great, what a great invention. Yeah, I really like that. That was, that was nice. I mean, I, you know, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I wouldn't really. Oh, get coffee! Into that it would anyway. be that would be bomb. Yeah. Me neither. I don't drink coffee. You know, you really it fucks with wake you. up, but level coffee out. Coffee fucks with you, and you've been yeah. smoking weed all day. Yeah. You need to pick a lane. Weed would you say, <laughs> would you say I don't HOV, trust, I don't, I, high <laughs> occupancy? Um, what, you were high for at midnight? Yeah. That's, why, that's what I like well, to I hear. Tried, I tried to get higher, but I couldn't find a fire escape or window. Oh, well, Which is why I prefer next time you're on the sentence. show, just say, Doug Benson told me I could smoke in my dressing room. Uh, I like, just go it. in the bathroom. Do you think that you're more, like, operate more <laughs> effectively when you smoke weed? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm more, like, in tune with myself, don't you? No, I'm never in tune with myself. <laughs> uh, I don't pretend to be either. Um, 
I don't, you know, uh, I don't think I'm at my optimum. You'll see in a second. It's already happening. I'm not in my optimum. Wait, did you smoke? When I smoke weed. You didn't, where have you been? I was smoking myself. Oh, Jesus. She Christ. hit it. She hit it. And she'll hit it some more. And I appreciate, you know, it's it, different perspectives. How many times? I mean, I've taken three hits of this. Or do you just keep smoking? Like, it's not Kinda, a cigarette. Yeah. I mean, for me, the the idea of the show is to just get as high, high as, as I possibly possible. can okay. yeah. and then see where that takes us. And so usually not, it's like, just When fun. did you start smoking weed? In yeah, let, well, let's yeah. do your high history. Yeah, because when did like you, you worked so what hard, was your first I feel time? like you probably just started smoking weed. I smoked weed when I was like really young and then I stopped all through college and my 20s. Uh, and I just kind of started smoking weed recently, but like not a lot. I don't smoke every day. Oh, that was it. I kind of, I, I assumed you were a non-smoker and then we ran into each other somewhere and I said, somebody had told me that that you would do the show. And I, yeah. and I said, really? And you said, well, I just started. I, I just, just started kind of started getting... smoking weed to a point where I feel like okay. I could, you know, go on camera and not try to like fuck someone, you know? Wait, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> A hundred episodes, and finally somebody figured out that the only reason I have anybody on this show is I want to get them high and fuck them. We have to do something for I the hundredth episode. I want to push them over this table. Well, I think this this alone for the hundredth episode <laughs> that you two are here. Okay, thank you, but no, is, that's not enough. It's pretty sweet. We need to do she's something a else. One of the favorite guests on the show, and you're going to be a new favorite. I don't know. I feel like I think I've people been... love you, you already. Think he's lying they to love us? the I don't positive know, right? vibe you're throwing down. No, he's not lying to us. This is a hundredth episode. Mm -hmm. like it's a pure a 100. Deal. So there's no like game plan. Like the best names number. cancel us. So there's no game plan. It's just like, we'll just keep rambling. So you just started. I have blue cards. I ask you questions. As you can see, Esther's oh. an active participant. She has questions. <laughs> <laughs> She's really picking up the slack. Yeah, yeah. Here's what's happening. This is I hate. This is what sucks about being some people being stoned and some not, is that when you're stoned, you always think you're so funny. But there's a bunch of people here who aren't stoned, and they're not laughing at anything we're saying. And I think I'm killing, but I know I'm bombing. I don't think, first of all, do not judge these but people, because some bombing. of them might be stoned. That's a good point. People and at home are laughing. Oh, good, because I know that none us. of this so far has been funny <laughs> to anyone to but them, us. Because they've lost their whole edge on life, you yeah. know? Yeah. They and do this so much. That. They've seen everybody sit here and smoke. Yeah. So we're just like chump change to them. Right. You so know? what? what that's <laughs> like, they're so jaded. They don't laugh at anything we're doing. Who does it? Does your boyfriend watch the, you on the show? No. Does he watch you do things? No. Why not? He doesn't watch your work? I don't know. That's passive aggressive. It's active aggressive. She barely no. knows the guy. He ordered her to <laughs> 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 Whoa! See how could I how could I not love that she laughed that Whoa. hard at my joke about her being a male order? But you know what? I feel like it's it's just it's such a <laughs> like a parody of an Asian girl. <laughs> it's, just, it's like that's like you're like the dream. You're the American dream. When I was a Are tour guide at Universal Studios, guys oh, love that shit. The Asian women. <laughs> We like, get so scared by King Kong that it was it was racist. such a cartoon. It was a, it was a like, racist look... cliche cartoon that they would lose their minds. Like they would try to move down their seat, like get further away from the animatronic King Kong. They they, they thought it was really gonna come get them. Nah. It's insane. From the movie? <laughs> yeah, that movie. King Were Kong. they Asian, like American or just Asian Asian? I don't, that's they were the thing, from I, didn't, Japan. I didn't ask them, they were probably from Japan, but, but, just, in, but just in general, I think that, uh, like, but also, there's a lot about being, uh, a lot in the culture about being ladylike and not uh, not having a big laugh like that. Yes, so, being, making yourself small, geisha training, you yeah, like, all that make shit. your voice yeah. lower and. Well, she is kind of making herself small on that chair No, already. but like, you laugh at jokes, which is very, guys like that. I gotta do that I more, do. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, it's making me fun. I know. It. Sometimes. So, what do you, I have a question for you? Do you feel like because you're like pretty and skinny and Asian that guys try to do like weird things with you sexually? Um, I don't know. Try to like, do. What's the to, weirdest thing? Try to do weird. What's the weirdest thing, the weirdest thing a guy know. has tried to do with you? I don't know what's considered weird because I Let's would. Let's go. I would have to watch you, <laughs> fucking you, 
and then to what? see what normal is. <laughs> or we can like, like, just watch porn and eat all the t the entire internet. And, right. Or we can talk about it. Um, like what's the what's what's weird? Has there ever been so, ever been something where you were like? If anything, I think I'm the weirder one. Oh, let's get into it. Um, now I finally know what it'd be like if I was on the View. <laughs> <laughs> and you sit there and watch the ladies talk. I feel like that joke came out of your mouth faster than you thought of it. Uh, <laughs> that makes... Maybe. I don't but know. Like, what has there ever been something where you're like, this is too far? Um, Sexually? Yeah. But why do you think, because she's Asian, they'd expect because crazier shit? Because all my guy friends are like, you gotta, they all want to have sex with Asian girls because they think they'll do anything. It's a oh, stereotype. I thought so it's because Asian girls are hot. Like that they're, too. They're very attractive. And to that too. But that's a very racist thing. But all my guy friends say that. So I'm always curious from your point of view if you've ever like. Um. Yeah. They ask for anal. Do you do anal? What? Are they say the words. <laughs> <laughs> they say. Do they say the words? Hey, you're Asian. Let's do anal. Like, do they really? No. Make that connection? No. They don't. They don't say the first part. <laughs> they keep that to themselves. I, well, my my reaction is that's not weird. <laughs> um, the plot thickens. <clears throat> All right, well, we can change the subject. Please. <laughs> um, what's the riskiest place you've smoked weed other than on this program right now? Do you have Risky. one? Risky. Um, Scary, inappropriate, intense. I, well, the, 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 this is not, um, I ate, this is the, just the most recent one I can remember. I went to see, I got a pot brownie and I thought, like classic, I took two more than I thought um, I was supposed to. And I was like, oh, this isn't working. You know, like that first 30 mm -hmm. minutes when you do an edible and you're like, it's not working, it's not working. So you like get on like the freeway and then it like 20 minutes later, you're like, fuck, you know? And so I was on, uh, I went and saw Gone Girl, like, <sighs> Uh, my wife stoned out of my fucking mind and I was like yelling I didn't realize I was yelling at the screen like having like conversations with the actors like Ben Affleck because he just like could have like he was just I was like what do you mean you oh really you're not gonna go like I was like doing bits and um the uh, when Tyler Perry came on the screen I lost my shit <laughs> because I was so surprised and they asked me to leave what? Yeah, they asked me to leave. Because uh, you were so pot brownied out yeah, that you and I were was like, totally roasting a movie in yeah. progress. And, and then, because then I was like... People got bummed out? Neil pa <laughs> I think was so. Was it a busy screening? <laughs> yes, it was. Gone Girl was a big movie. I know, but I just see things with such small crowds these days because they put it on so many screens and it's all day long, you know? And I guess I go to a lot of matinees, though, too, where it's just me and a couple other dudes in trench coats <laughs> <laughs> Watch, watching Fifty Shades of Hey! Um, <laughs> we already have to go to a commercial break. This thing flies by, I'm telling you. I feel like that it's story crazy. kind of bombed. Which story? Oh my God, I didn't really, I wasn't really prepared. Well, the that thing about moment. that story was that you were like, you know, you saw a whole half or whatever, however much of Gone Girl you saw, and it's hard to recall the specific comments you were making because they were very specific to the yeah. action at the time. That's a good point. And so it's hard to retell the story without, you know, coming up with some good lines that you were throwing out. Because right. then also they're wrong for throwing you out if you were right about everything That's you were saying. That's a good saying. point. <laughs> I'm going to send them a <laughs> yeah, but, follow up. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to send them an email on LinkedIn. It's definitely a movie where you can really <laughs> say a lot to the screen as things are happening because there's a lot of uh, unusual behavior. and Some of it pans, pans out, like some of it pays off. Mm -hmm. Like you go, oh, they set that up nicely and then other things just still kind of remain. In Gone Girl? Kind of weird, yeah. Did you see, have you ever, never seen the whole thing? <laughs> no, I just was thinking about how much That's this hilarious. looks like Moshe Kasher. It does? <laughs> Somebody made a Moshe Kasher pipe? Um, yeah, Gone Girl, I can. It uh, bombed because I, I haven't seen Gone Girl. No, I mean, yeah, it was, so you didn't get Esther's no, the big movie, laugh. I, look, that wasn't, I didn't need that to be funny. <laughs> I just want you to know that as I was, Telling it, I, I was like, I don't want to bore everybody, including myself, with this story, so I just rushed through it. Yeah, to answer and your Gone Girl question. was an incidental uh, piece of the story because uh, she didn't really. It was say more. I just answered Gone the question Girl specifically. She didn't miss anything there. Okay. You know, you know what I'm saying. We gotta go to a break. Uh, this is some paralyzing shit, Doug. Yeah. <laughs>
You really like the uh, day wrecker? It's yeah, my, this it's is, a show this wrecker. This is like fucking Cosby weed. Let's just come back and just have like, <laughs> wait, what does that mean? I mean, well, the accusations are going to start. You're the, you're the second creepiest <laughs> comedian well, after Cosby. Yeah, it's true. You've judged Based as many women as Bill Cosby. Yeah, probably. but did you hear the numbers up to sixty? I want to get a tote board and put it on the show and uh, raise the number every every episode. How many women have come forward and Cosby's still running around going, hey, hey, hey. All right, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey everybody, now you can showcase your geek chic style with Level Up, a monthly mystery apparel subscription from Loot Crate. You can get two different pairs of high quality socks, one to two fashionable accessories, or a wearable item like a long sleeve shirt or lounge pants. Same themes as Loot Crate every month and it serves as a great companion to your loot because there are no repeats. Each month's theme is inspired by all your favorite pop culture brands like Star Wars, Doctor Who, and Fallout 4 and often contains high quality exclusives. This month's theme is Galaxy with Star Wars items perfect for Jedi, Padawans, Rebels, and serious fans of Star Wars. Go to LootCrate.com slash DougHigh to learn more and use the code DougHigh to save 10%. Welcome back to Get It Done with High. All right, we're back and a couple people are clapping. Uh, we have 2,293 viewers wow. right now watching the show. So that's uh, 200. Do you know that I watched it online and you get like a million on YouTube? It gets up there some of the episodes. Yeah, I think I think this will be a popular one. Uh, 2,293 viewers or uh, 2,200 and six, uh, shit, I fucked it up. I was gonna try to do another Bill Cosby rape joke. <laughs> but I completely screwed up the numbers. That's one of the things I yelled out while I was watching Gone Girl. So, uh, we're back, we got lots of stuff to cover, lots of weed to smoke on the table. The day wrecker is really certainly doing its job. But fortunately, it's Sorry, night. Sorry, does my breath stink? Do you, do you, you have to do sets tonight? You're, you're one of you? a fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a fucking honey badger. Like, she was on with, you know Joey Diaz, right? Yeah. She was on with him the and best. kept up with him the, you know, the entire time. He's no so great. problem. And he's, you know, Oh yeah, he smokes he's like a monster. crazy. Yeah, he, you know, he eats a bunch of edibles and smokes. Like he can't get a, a high enough. I love him. Uh, that's that's who you replaced. A honey tonight. badger. Is that a bear? Here. It's a badger. Yeah. So uh, yeah, not, not it's right. like a small bear. You know what? I'm from Chicago, and I have some bears in me. You know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Obviously. Like, you mean because Obviously. of the football team? Yeah. No, because <laughs> I've had some bears in me. Yeah. Some Chicago bears. Some bears. I mean, I'm from Chicago, so yeah. I act like a bear, part of me, what probably. Are you talking about a bear, like because a you grizzly call, you, bear? You said honey badger. Yeah. So that's the kind of bear, and I'm from Chicago. You guys are so high right now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I got some stats from the past 100 episodes. The very first episode with Jenny Slate, who uh, spaced out at one point quite, quite love, <laughs> love, it was lovely to behold. Uh, She's so cute. That was October 2nd, 2013, 803 days ago. It means we've done an average of one episode every eight days for the past two years. And thank you. Yeah, and I got this so higher, high. higher on every one of them. And, and on the like days in between. This is like your 100th birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got 375. We a, did, did anybody get you a cake? No, I don't want cake. We have 375,000. What, what if so real? No cake. <laughs> I don't what want if, cake. What if they were space They cake? did. They, the first year, I think somebody did get a cake. Or my birthday. <laughs> I forget which one, but I was just like, oh, I hate cake. Uh, three, 375,835 subscribers on the, to this YouTube channel. Amazing. That has only this show and its spinoffs on it. Uh, let's do a state of pot. Uh, per capita viewers of the last episode oh, is this like of this your program. News segment? It's all like I try to get out as much of this as I can. Is this so people can learn? Everybody. What? Do you think anyone's watching this for like statistics? <laughs> like what, oh, the biggest fucking buzzkill. Can I can I plug right, my YouTube channel? <laughs> 
It's called the Moses uh, Kimuke, called... so there's <laughs> like, can we get some Nielsen ratings while we're at it? In her uh, appearance on the show, uh, Esther, because she was on the show, the total minutes of time that people watched her on this program, the number is mind boggling. 9.7 million minutes have been spent watching you get high with me and laugh. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That, can't, I, that just doesn't seem right, but I guess it's just minutes. It doesn't seem so. right because there should be more people bringing me weed to my shows. Well, now that, that you say that, I think it'll happen more it. often. Are you known as like a stoner sort yeah. of thing? It's, but girls are harder well, to approach if you're some dumb stoner dude who wants to, you know, meet you and get high with you. I, I'd be a little nervous to come up to you and be like, who want to get high with me? Is what they mostly sound like. Well, now now I just me. have a donation bin. After my show, they could donate a bag of weed. And you mentioned it during your set? It's like an offering basket. And people do? No, I just thought of it now. I'm going to start oh. doing that. That would work, but... The no. main thrill for them, the reason they want to get high with you is because getting high with you. Like, oh, right. Like, they like to give me weed, and they do quite a bit. But, you know, the main goal is to, you know, let's go get, get high, high if we poop. can. Like, just giving it to me is like the fallback position, you know, if there's no time. But the most liked episodes of all time of this program are people like Jack Black, Workaholics, Joey Diaz, Sarah Silverman. She's the first one on that list. I was going to say, I was going to make them all examples, but she did the same thing you're doing. During the parts where I read information about weed, she just says, why are you doing this? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but we've had a lot of that. We've Sorry. Had, we get a lot of that. You know, you get a comedian high, and they're just going to be like, why are you, what is, what is happening? <laughs> like, here's another thing we do, is I just hand somebody this lighter at one point Ooh. and uh, ask them what they think of it. No, oh, to me. Yeah, I love this guy. You. you do? Be careful yeah, he's, with it. He's it's, got a little, the flame comes out of the top of his head. He's got this little eyes wide shut mask on. Oh, cute. Dink, dink. That's Wait, cute. so you put that monkey into a sex party. That's what you did well, with the that, eyes what wide is that? shut Why reference? would you have this fucked up like Banksy mask on? <laughs> it's what just is that? His, Highbrow his, reference. That's his face. I, I, yeah, I think but, I said once he kind of looks like the uh, robbers in a movie. Yes, you know, he does. He looks like... like um. Like in Dark Knight or something. Yes, that's exactly but what it is. they were clowns in that movie. <clears throat> I've but, never seen a monkey in that. But what do you think, to hold it though, what do you think of it? How do you describe it? Like, it seems like it would be... This feels like a trick question. It's not. It's, it's just, just genuine. She's on to you. It's fine. It's a genuine question. Is this like a worship test It is a trick question. Something? It's, you know, this is... He's trying to get don't you Don't worry, you, you didn't it. pass, but it's nothing to worry about. What brown... What... He'll just put him over there. This feels like a trick. I don't like it. <laughs> Man, you're so smart. Not it's interested right there in on your... the card, too. She just looked down at the card. What did it say? It says what was supposed to happen there. <laughs> what does it say? It's just, you've been on the show before. You, did, did you do it? Heavy Monkey? Oh, you want to do hashtag Heavy Monkey? <laughs> oh, oh I see. that fucking hurt. You wanted me to say this is a Heavy Monkey. Here, what do you think of this? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I call it a dead heat on most obnoxious okay, laughs. Okay, let's. <laughs> okay, so what? What do you think of that llama? I think it's a fucking furry llama. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I'll, my I'll, I'll ask her to do the last one. What do you think of this turtle? <laughs> Slimy turtle. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here, smoke this. This okay. is disgusting. <laughs> oh, cute. What was the point of that? Well, that segment was going to be, is going to be <laughs> much more fun to watch than to just listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, podcast listeners. <laughs> That was a weird segment. I love that you write oh. these up. <laughs> I'm glad that, well, all that card said was heavy monkey. <laughs> I didn't need more explanation Would than that. Would you have forgotten to do that other one? Like, is there an order? I might have forgotten to do it. He sits right there, but, uh, you know, sometimes I forget stuff. But a, a big part of the show, and you chime in, chime <laughs> you in on have, these. You have news? I have what? <laughs> Pot topics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, that's so funny. <laughs> Our first pot topic. San Francisco is assembling a task force <laughs> to propose regulations for the marijuana industry. 
assuming that it's going to go legal in uh, next year, 2016, in the state of California. Let's not get complacent, though, California. Let's vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty, sure. <laughs> A year from now, I'm pretty vote. sure the people that watch this show don't vote. I think they do. Really? Yeah. Well, if, you know, at the very least, they know how to like a, uh, or subscribe. Yeah, they, they write mean comments. She they, just did your show, to... man. She did? <laughs> yeah. No, well, just I mean... the people watching it, but I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you think that I understand the where she's that coming watch... from. Don't you think people are young? Yes. I feel like the they people tend to not vote sh- because they're young. old and have nothing to do at work. Okay. But there's, uh, you know, there's just like with Obama, especially, you know, eight years ago, there's uh, there's plenty of things to bring out the young vote. Yeah, and the true. fact that marijuana will be on a lot of ballots, uh, they're saying maybe 16 different states might have something about it. Yeah. Uh, I just pulled that number. Um, <laughs> that can't be, I don't think that's accurate. It was 7.9 million minutes of watching Esther Koo get high on the show. I can't <laughs> believe that number. It's true though, right? I know, follow me on Periscope. Okay. <laughs> she periscopes Don't mind uh, if I do. pretty much everything. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's She's like, an it's active like, periscoper. So uh, is the point that people ask you questions or you just do your thing? I just do my thing and then I answer people's questions. Wow. It's like Madonna once said, why live her life uh, without cameras on? I can't give you a lot of reasons. Yeah, right? <laughs> but that's, uh, you know, that's how she does it. And it uh, seems to be working. People are into it, right? Yeah, people are into it, and it's global. Do you get, do you have a smoking session at 420 ever? No, I don't. Should Why I? Why don't you do that? Okay, I'll do it. Let everybody smoke with you at 420, whatever you're doing, you know? A 420 periscope. Yeah. That's what I'm missing. I keep meaning to do that, and every single <laughs> every single day at 420, I forget to do it. I wonder why. Or like I'm in a, I'm in a plane or something. So, hold on, what happens in the periscopes? I um, I talk to people. About what? About whatever they want to talk about. So they'll ask you and just you'll talk to them about anything. It's like a chat room. Have you not heard like a chat room? Yeah, no, I've done it, but I'm just I I'm just curious how you much you could do, how long you can go without losing yeah. your mind. I'll just do like a karaoke. I'll Jesus. put on like 80 songs. That's so Asian. <laughs> <laughs> But it's fun. You yeah, know? no, like, it's, I like, want to be you. I, this, yeah. I want your life. <sighs> well, 49%. I want your life. What are you talking about? <laughs> 49% of uh, tourists who have visited uh, Colorado since uh, they legalized marijuana uh, said that it, that was uh, in, influenced their decision to go there on vacation. Like, that's why they went there. I ch- Dude, honestly, Colorado, I missed the first sentence. 49%. <laughs> Since Colorado legalized, 49% of the tourists say they went there partially because of of the legal weed. So that's a benefit for, right, local governments or whatever? That's why every other state should legalize weed so that their economy can grow just like Colorado's has. Bam! That's what I'm talking about here on Glory Debates while hallucinating. Tweet it. Blog it. These people, they are just, they are just fucking... what happened? Vape stores and weed Gateway stores Gateway drug, and edible. whatever, Haas. <laughs> These people are banking in Colorado. Granddad wants heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Giving dangerous wildlife hugs. <laughs> what? That's what getting dug with high, the same initials could stand for giving dangerous wildlife hugs. <laughs> I just got so high. Do you want to... Are you, you sick keep, of... You keep saying hugs, and it's like... Are you sick of Leonardo DiCaprio and his Gatsby face? <laughs> because if you want to see him get a, a, a shit mauled out of him by a bear, go, go see his latest I movie, truly The Bear of Wall getting, Street. Getting dick getting... with herma, hermaphrodites. That would be, you only change one word, but oh. that's the spirit of it, yes. Is it, it's, just, <laughs> it's the same initials, but they change all four words <laughs> to different words. If anyone in this room is sober, we're so fucked. I would guess right now you came in second on At Midnight. Yeah, how did you know? Just a guess. Wow. I had a 50-50 chance of being right, I guess, but I, I felt like, I felt it. I felt that like this is not your victory lap. Right. I feel like you got to get back in training and get back in there and fight again. I will get back in there, man. 
But Wendy's not going to do it again? You're not going to do that midnight again? I love that midnight. No, I'm doing it. Uh, I, you just don't like how tense it makes it. Like, no, I, I, I'll, I'm a masochist and everything we, I, we do for a living is fucking stressful. But <laughs> it's like, you know, it's just, I, I feel like I go and I, I'm ready to have a good time. And you have to write stuff on the cards. And it's Speaking like, of stressful, undateable lives. <laughs> how crazy is that? It's like they're, they're a bunch of, they're all just trying to make each other break. Mm hmm. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. I love that. I did it. I is did it popular it. that in that way? Like, is, is it doing like well? It? I don't know. TV is in such a transitional phase slash free fall at the moment that I don't, I don't think any of us know what good ratings even mean anymore or what's too low and what's because everything's so in flux and the DVR yeah, and number. Friday nights are miserable anyway. And then so. it's the, that's like this many people watch it and then five days later we can find out how many people watched it that have recorded it, you know, so none of the numbers are like... So I don't know if it's how well it's doing, but it's really fun. And uh, like, I think people are so smart now that you have to kind of be a little meta. This one tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> Great for pedophiles. Hey, if little the... girl. <laughs> yeah. You like vans? <laughs> what about Dockers? <laughs> what about, what about bubblegum? What about weed? <coughs> oh boy, that was a good one. So, mm. uh, good. so throughout the day, do you just keep smoking? You don't smoke like this every day, just for your show. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're That's just... That's how he can smoke like this on camera. Oh, though. he's... I'm good. I'm all right at it. But it's just when you um, are just smoking on your own, you can stop for a second. Yeah. You know, but this that, the show is about, you know, getting high. So I just I hit it hard. Go for it. You but yeah, it. it does affect, like, the rest of my day is kind of, like, you know, harder than it needs to be uh, if I have other things to do. Yeah. I've gone straight to at midnight from doing this show. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh man, that'd be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, I managed to get by, all right. You know, I did my did my thing. It probably, helps probably you come lost up, to it helps you come up with also more ideas. Do it high. You know? What? It helps you come up with more ideas when you're high. That's not the case for me at all. Too many sometimes, like I'll get aggravated with myself if I get really high and there isn't a pen around, you know, because I, I get too many ideas and you know, no, they're just gonna go because I'm high. And, I'm and gonna... you'll just forget them yeah. if you didn't like write it down mentally. Yeah, exactly. I guess I should, I use my phone sometimes now. I'll talk into my phone when I have an idea. You two have really good chemistry. You're like, <laughs> you're like Sunny, the Sunny and Cher of you two. This is what it's, we got Abby, we've got, Abby, they got, we got Costello. <laughs> they're like the new Scully and Mulder. All this sexual tension is just burning me up. <laughs> What do you think of that llama, though? <laughs> if you had to put a word on it. I would say fuzzy llama. It's kind of gross. No, no, ow! What? That is a bummer. Oh my god. What's, who even Somebody invented that? Somebody take that away. What's that for? Air horns are for regattas. <laughs> <laughs> and um, scaring the shit out of people for no good reason. Regattas. They're just so suddenly loud. Like, it, it should only be outdoors, like, should do it inside, and uh, it should only start a race. Regatta. You know, because everybody needs to know when the race has started. <laughs> they don't need to hear that just because somebody thought... said heavy monkey. Hashtag heavy monkey. What happened? He just said he had to take a break. He showed me the sign said two minutes. I'm a pro. I know I what two hear. minutes is. <laughs> I just saw break. <laughs> No, but also it doesn't matter. I can go as long as I, you know. You can do whatever you want. I try to keep the show professional time, you know, and tight because, you know, to show off how good I am at that, even though I'm high, but. <laughs> uh, Such an we, egomaniac. We go over or under by a few minutes sometimes. Uh, I want to make sure I didn't, there aren't any more of these uh, things I wanted to get into. There's so much going on in the, in the pot news, but we can roll some of those over to the, uh, to the next show. And how are you doing, Esther? You all right over there? I'm good. Yeah? You having fun in your uh, swivelly chair? This is like really strong. Yeah, it's good stuff. I, uh, I, I really, uh, really recommend. 
Yeah, the shit's no day wrecker. I forgot the words. I forgot the name day wrecker, because that's what it's that's what it's done to me. Wow, smells really good too. Uh, let's go to a break, and uh, we got you know what coming up uh, after that. I'm Dan Levy, and I'm the host of Baby Talk. What is Baby Talk? I'll tell you. It's a show where I take my comedian friends and bring them together with little children and a bunch of weird shit happens. And I'm DJ Jensen Cart. You see, for the past three years, we've been doing a live show over at the Meltdown Theater in Los Angeles. And we thought, hmm, how can we make less money? Let's put it on the internet. So we've taken our strangest kids from the live show and paired them with our favorite broken comedians, and we filmed nine episodes for you to watch online. It's an original show that seems very similar to Kids Say the Darnest Things, because it is very similar to Kids Say the Darnest Things. And you're gonna love the show, even if you hate kids. Especially if you hate kids. Have fun watching, it's very funny. He's I, on. I, I ghostwrite for Meek Mill. <laughs> I'm gonna get attached to saying this, but I like The Weeknd better than Drake. You like The Weeknd better than Drake? J. Cole, you don't... A classic comparison. You don't know who J. Cole is. No, I love J. Cole. Wow. That's The Weeknd. You're J. Cole mature. is not The Weeknd. Yeah, yeah. Um, J no, he's not. No. Wait, hold on. Hold on. No, no, you... Hold on. No, no. You have, like, no chill right now. Hold on. No, you have no, no chill. No, you have no chill. No, no, chill. Nobody here has no, chill. chill. I'm sorry. Right. You don't think I have chill? No, no. You know how many times I smoked weed in a bathroom today? <laughs> and I have no chill? Welcome back to Get It Done with High. We got 2,616 of you watching right now live. It's a pretty solid number. I guess you're on the holidays, you know, end of Hanukkah. Uh, people are just uh, chilling with us and getting high while watching us on some sort of device. Such nice people. Yeah. Thank you. There's some guy right now is like uh, sitting on a toilet uh, watching us on his phone. Tweet me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, since everybody's good and high, it's game time. We're going to watch a magic trick. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Hi, Gabe. All right. Oh, you're the... Yeah, I'm gonna do a trick for okay. you. Okay. When you just reach out and tap a card anytime you want. Okay, take it out, memorize it. Got it? What's your name? Gabe. Gabe. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. I did the fire before. That's right. <laughs> Every time you're like carrot top, you keep coming in with a different... I'll take okay. it. I did the fire. <laughs> yeah, I did the fire earlier. All right, check it out. I'm going to place the card back in the center, but there's a string that comes up through the top. If I pull on the string, the card comes back to the top. I'll do it again. Watch. Into the center. Pull the string. Back to the top. Right, help me with this next part. Do you know that I hate magic? <laughs> <laughs> I like, get that Like, I lot. hate it because I, I, if I can't figure it out, it pisses me off. Well, you can help me with You're this next part. You're pissing me off right now. <laughs> That's fine. Do you want to hit him? Don't punch no, him. No, no, I want to, All no. Right, check it out. Press that into the center for me. <laughs> Great job, Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. The old, you're looking at his hand while it's in his mouth I trick. I hate it. <laughs> hate you. Whitney's HBO special airs Saturday, January 23rd at 10 p.m. What's the name of the special? I'm your girlfriend. <laughs> what is the name of the special? <laughs> I'm your girlfriend. <laughs> 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 um, that sounds awesome. It's an hour-long uh, comedy special, and uh, it'll be on HBO. And uh, how, HBO. How, now. how long in the making was that one? Did you take about a year to year. write that one? Yeah, about a year. I hit the clubs hard though, and I did the road hard, so you know that helps. So there's results. It's a good. Sh it's a good show. I mean, you've seen it already. I, I've seen it. Yeah. Yep. How do you look? You look good on it. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> Esther Koo is performing at second base in Orange County. That doesn't sound like a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're going to some guy's house. And he's, he's, plan, he's planning to run, run past first base. He's not gonna go straight, he's gonna turn when he hits, when he hits that. 
bag. Uh, but you'll be there December 15th. What day of the week is that? That's uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. That, wait, that's tomorrow night. Yeah. Tomorrow night you'll be down there entertaining the troops or the baseball players uh, <laughs> behind the orange curtain. And then you're going to be at the American Comedy Company in San Diego with Joey Diaz, the aforementioned, on December uh, 17th, which would be Thursday? Thursday. Yeah. And Harris Casino in Atlantic City, March 3rd. So you got a real scheduling problem between December 17th <laughs> and March 3rd. I'm going to Korea. For all that time? Yeah. No way. What's in Korea? Just hanging out in spas. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm making shit up. I don't up. know what's real, yeah. <laughs> no, you just you just know about that date far in advance, and you'll do other shows in between. Right. It's not going yeah. to be a problem. Uh, but I it's just, good. I just feel like a large portion of your viewers are also gamblers. Oh, I thought you were going to say are going to see this. they're willing to sit here and watch people smoke weed and talk well, to you. Well, they're gambling with their time, Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> Uh, Koo and the Gang is the name of her Jesus, you have a lot of... podcast. Yeah, she really laid it out. Whoever we call when we get, book you on the show just said HBO special. But I mentioned Undateable, of course. You're a semi-regular uh, new, new cast member. What do you call yourself? I'm just yourself? doing, yeah, I'm just doing till the end of the season. Cool. And um, uh, anything else you want to plug? Now you're making me feel bad. No, don't feel bad. I'll be in Vegas. When's that? I feel bad. You Don't have an HBO special. She's gonna be in Jesus. Vegas, you guys. Go to Vegas now second. and wait. January second. Saturday, then... Jan two. That's an interesting day. Jan to do two, a show. Uh, right after New Year's, so it's not on New Year's. Yeah. For so New take Year's, it easy, New Year's Vegas. For New Year's, they want really like Olivia Newton John. Tear it up. I'm the they Olivia do? Newton John of comedy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't call you that. I mean, you're the both Venetian. good at what you do. What's that? The Venetian. The Venetian. On January. The Venetian. Are you too busy to say the you full gotta, word? I, I'm Are you in such a rush? A hurry. I'm in such a hurry. <laughs> the Venetian. Last anyway. time I was there, I stayed at the Palats. <laughs> so. And then I stayed at the. <laughs> the that's, the that's the win. The what? Uh, Doug's Plugs, Irvine Improv on Monday, December 28th. That's a good. That's a big venue. That's a that's great, a big it's ass beautiful. room. You guys show up. Sacramento Punchline on Tuesday, November 29th. Love that club. It's. That's a more intimate one. I like the yeah, it's I like great. the intimacy, uh, and I've got shows coming up in Las Vegas and San Antonio in January of 2016. <clears throat> DougLovesMovies.com. You guys know where to go to get the merch. People can buy these mugs. They can buy these blue cards. Maybe you'll take a sharpie and sign a couple of them for random uh, people. Uh, Bitly slash Doug merch. Do you think they'd get this stuff by uh, Christmas if they order it now? No way. Okay. <laughs> Our friends Why at Poker not? Bowl, this item right here has a special for you guys still. You can get 10% uh, off if you use the promo code Doug at pokeball.com. They have a dot com? Mm hmm. It looks like more of a dot net <laughs> purchase. <laughs> It's for, uh, you know, for cleaning your bowls. You just go like this, and it cleans it all out nice and good. Has somebody brought this to Shark Tank? And the ashes. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's already a product that's being sold. So do they do that? Yeah, but it could be can it sold be... to a bigger level. Is that how Shark Tank works? Like, yeah, it could be something that either. already exists in a you small market. You can say, market. like, well, yeah, because you want to say, for three months, this is how much sales we had and when we were in Whole Foods or whatever. I bet you that Shark Tank has never done a product that's specifically for something to do with weed. I bet you they haven't even done it. It's on ABC, isn't it? Well, they should. Which is owned by Disney. Disney, If, if yeah. they do that, their, their numbers will go up. That's a great theory. And you always look smarter when you have a pipe in your hand. <laughs> I like how you just throw down. I wish I see. I need that kind of confidence. You just throw down statistic, fake statistics. That was a good one. With the confidence. That well, seems super legit. It's just a theory. It's just like you know. Yeah, it's a good theory. Thank you, Whitney Cummings and Esther Koo. Oh, so that's much, it? so much fun. Yeah. That's fast. This last segment's only supposed to be like five minutes, but I've been. Uh, Having so much fun. Well, I don't know how we possibly. Esther's enjoying her like chair so much. All. We're going to get plenty of comments about how we should have stationary chairs. I'm sure people like watching her gyrate back and forth on her chair. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No one's complaining. They love it. Uh, we might do a show later <laughs> this week. We might do a show later this week on Thursday or Friday, maybe. That's more flattering uh, angle, too. But we'll definitely see you in January. <laughs> Happy holidays, even Christians. And uh, that was so fast. Download my podcast, like Coup that. and the Gang, everybody. You spend this I whole podcast promoting other podcasts. Coup and the Gang. I already said that. Get, get with my YouTube channel, Oldies get Parodies. Get close up with me. Don't even pay attention to me anymore. Just get my close up. <laughs> See you soon.